right, I thought I would make a video to show you how to use Inkscape um, to make mock-ups for quilt patterns. So I have already installed Inkscape on my computer. It is a free program that you can get from inkscape.org. And um, I have also saved a copy of the PDF that has my coloring page in it. And I have a file on my computer that has images of different uh, fabrics, and I'll use those fabrics to show you a mock-up. So this is what Inkscape looks like. Um, you won't need all of these tools for this purpose, so I wouldn't worry about all of those for now. What you're going to do is file, open, and then this is all the downloads, the things I've downloaded recently, and I'm going to use the Suzy Quilts pattern coloring sheets that I got off the Facebook group. Open that up. And I'm going to do the maypole pattern. So I'm going to go to page nine. I know that it is page nine in the PDF. And then I, you don't need to change any of this or worry about any of that. Just click OK. And we'll open a new window. I'll just maximize that. And there is my coloring page. All right, so what I'm going to do, I already have some images saved. So to get to my images, oh, before we do that, <laughs> let me not get ahead of myself here. Um, you can use some features on the left to zoom. Here's the magnifying glass. I can click that. Um, if I want to, let's say, zoom in on this, I, I can click and drag this area and it'll zoom me all the way in. You can click um, with your right click and it'll zoom you out. Left click zooms you in. Or you can also hit the number one on your keyboard and it zooms you back out all the way. So if I had zoomed in here, I can click the one on my keyboard and it zooms me back out. All right, so we will use that pretty frequently. It helps to zoom in on these small pieces. We will also need just the standard cursor at the top. And then the other tool on the left you will use is this one here that allows you to draw curves in this shape here. And so for what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and I'm, I like to do the um, select way of doing it that way so I can go exactly where I want to be. Now I'm going to switch to the drawing curves tool. Now what we want to do is we want to outline our shape. So oh, I clicked on accidents. Let's start. There we go. Click on the corner and then just go all the way around. You, you'll notice it's making lines. So click on every corner of your shape. As soon as you click, your line turns green. Goes from red to green. You'll go all the way around. And then this last one, I'm looking for that little red box. And that lets me know that, that those lines have connected. Now I'm going to go back to my normal cursor over here on the left. And we will move that shape we just created out of the way. Zoom back out. I'm actually just going to click the one on my keyboard to zoom all the way back out. I'm going to move this shape off to the side. So now what I can do is I can insert fabric into this piece and it will, um, I can put it back onto the pattern over here. So I already have a file of just some random fabrics. So I'm going to do, let me do that again. Um, I went to file, import. You can also click control I on your keyboard, but file, import. And this will bring up some other fabrics that I have saved. And let's see, let me make sure I'm picking the right fabric here. Um, I outlined the very largest piece and I'm going to use this cream fabric here. Click OK and you'll notice it's giant so I'm going to shrink that down. Now before I do anything else I know I'm going to use this fabric for several other shapes in the pattern, several other pieces. So what I'm going to do you can right click and click duplicate or you can hold down Control D on your on your keyboard. So I have it selected, and I'm going to click Control D on my keyboard, and I'm going to do that I don't know seven or eight times, and then it, you didn't see anything happen, but it copied, it duplicated, and it just made this nice neat little stack of all those fabrics. I'm going to use several of those. So I just went ahead and made them, so I don't have to import it again. All right, so now I have my fabric and then my shape up here. I'm going to take one of my pieces of fabric and stick it right over my shape. And I don't want to cover my shape up. I need to be able to see it. So I'm going to come up to the top 
And these options right here will allow you to either um, hide things down or raise them up. And I need to lower that fabric image down so that I can see my shape. All right, my fabric is already selected, so I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard and then click my shape, and now they're both selected. The other way of doing that is if neither of them are selected, you can come around it and just click and drag and make sure they're fully highlighted and it'll select both pieces. All right, now that they're selected, this is the cool part. We're going to do right click, set clip. Right click, set clip. And there is my piece. And then I can just slide it right back over to where I know it's going to go. All right, I also know that um, I'm going to, let's see, so what I can do now is I can just start tracing other pieces. So for example, I know I'm gonna need this tri triangular shape in the same color. So we'll just come here, zoom in, and let's go ahead and trace this piece. And you could probably just insert a triangle, but it seems like it would take a long time to get it the exact right size, and it's faster just to quickly trace it. I'm gonna click the one on my keyboard, tap the one on my keyboard to zoom back out, move my shape, put my fabric over it, and hold down shift to select both, and I clicked here to select both, right click, set clip. Now I have my triangle. Now the cool part about the maypole pattern is that a lot of these are the same size and the same shape. So instead of creating all of the pieces I need for this white fabric here, I can click the shape that I've already created and I can either copy and paste it or I can do control D to duplicate it. And I just did that and what it did is it stacked it right on top. So now I have two. So you don't see when, it, when you do control D, you don't really see it happening. You can also do control C to copy and control V to paste and then it gives you two. All right, so I know that this piece, I need to go right here, but right now it's backwards. Um, and upside down. So on the top left here, I'm going to flip it vertically and then I'm going to flip it horizontally. And now it is the right shape to go right there. And then you can just keep going. So do you already have all your fabrics? Keep tracing. Um, you can copy and paste this triangle as well. It's the same shape as this side. You can just put that right in. It'll save you a little bit of time. Now let me show you a different color so you can see it a little better. So I'm not gonna finish those right now. I'm gonna show you a different one. Get rid of those. Let's see, I want to do this one here. Let's zoom in and we'll just go right next to the white since we've already done some of these. Um, let's do this piece. Doesn't really matter what order we go in. There we go. Zoom back out, change it to the normal mouse cursor, move that around, and I'm going to hit Control I on my keyboard, and that'll open the import window. And I'm looking for this one. These are all Riley Blake fabrics. Let's see. All right, and I know I'm going to use this one several times as well, so I'm going to hit on my keyboard, I'm holding Control D a few times. And again, it doesn't really show you it's doing that, but it's stacking them in a nice, neat pile. It's just duplicating it for us. And I'll slide this one up here and send it down a little so I can see my shape. There we go. And I'm going to click and drag to highlight both. Right click, set clip. And there is that piece that I just needed. And same with this one, I can duplicate it or copy and paste. And now it's the same shape. I can flip it. I'm gonna need it on this side as well. So I'm gonna flip it horizontally and then vertically. And that's just uh, a trick that happens to work with this specific pattern. It may not work with all patterns, but I could just trace that one too. Don't have to do it that way. All right, well, let's just, I'm gonna show you um, one more. And then that's it. You don't, there's nothing else that's different. I'm gonna do the rest of it all exactly the same way. So um, that's pretty much it. I'm just showing you another one to show you the contrast with the colors. Let's see, move that out of there. Control I to import. And let's see, 
think this one. Hit OK. And of course, I would normally need several of these, so I would duplicate it, but I'm just going to show you this one here. And I like to try to move the fabric around to kind of get some of the different colors in it. There we go. Select both, right click, and set clip. And there we go. And then you just keep going all the way and until you have everything filled, and then you can save it to your computer. Um, it saves as an SVG. So you could do that, or I like to just use my snipping tool to take a screenshot. So here's how that would finish up. And then I can copy it and paste it in places, or I can save it to upload. And that's it. I hope this helped. Please let me know if you have any questions or if I need to explain anything again.